Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to another video. So this is going to be a quick one. Actually, I was preparing a video about dual booting with Windows 10, an updated version. And during the testing, actually, I came across a little issue with the grab boot loader. And I thought I'd make a quick video about it because maybe some of you have the same issue. This is something new which just happened to me actually yesterday because a few days ago when I was testing this again, it didn't happen. But let's jump into the video here and let me show you what I mean. So here I am actually connected to my laptop via SSH and if I type in here LSPLK you will see here I have many partitions on my SSD. These are all partitions belonging to Windows. So I have actually an EFI partition, some Microsoft Reserve partition, the C drive and the recovery partitions here. And then I created an extra EFI partition. Explanation on that is going to come on the next video when I'm going to show you an updated version of dual booting with Windows. And this is my root partition. Now the problem is when I try to run my grab configuration command, this is what I come up with. So the command is actually sudo grab dash mk config dash o. So the output goes under slash boot and then slash grab and then slash grab dot cfg, right? This is the usual command. So look what happens when I hit enter here. So it starts to generate the image, but we have here a new message, which I've never seen before. And that is warning, OS Prober will not be executed to detect other bootable partitions. Now, OS Prober was actually installed as part of my base packages that I have also on GitLab. And OS Prober actually takes care of the fact that if there is another operating system, installed in the system, it's going to detect it and it's going to add it to the grab boot loader. Now, like I said in the intro, I have never seen this thing. This actually happened to me yesterday. And you can see here it says systems on then will not be added to the grab boot to configuration. Check grab disable OS prober documentation entry. So to correct this issue, it's fairly simple. But as I said, because it's something I've never seen before, I decided to make a very quick video about it. So to change this behavior, what we need to do here, we need to actually, we can actually copy this line by right clicking here and clicking copy. And we need to edit the configuration file for grab. So let's type in sudo vim slash etc slash default slash grub. Now I'm using Vim here, but you can use any other editor, of course. And what we can do, we can go at the end of the file here. I'm already at the bottom of the file and I open up a new line and I will paste in, but I just copied. So grub disable OS prober and then equal and then false. There you go. Then we can save this file and exit Vim. And if I try now to run the configuration command again, you will see that it will now work and it will detect Windows just fine. So now we have another line here saying OS Probable will be executed to detect other bootable partitions. Its output will be used to detect bootable binaries and add them and create new boot entries. And it found the Windows Boot Manager. So now we are back on track. So this is all there is to it to correct this issue. So there you go, guys, a quick guide if you are encountering the same problem. Now, like I said in the intro, I've actually noticed this the first time yesterday when I was again testing for the dual boot video. And I thought i would just make a quick video about it because probably many of you are encountering this problem. Now, I'm not sure if this problem exists also in other distributions. This is actually Arch. So I can imagine probably it happens also on other Arch based distros because they are using the latest packages. But again, I didn't test that yet and I'm not sure about it. But I just wanted to make the video to show you guys what to do in case you encountered the same problem. I hope it was helpful for you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you saw this problem. And I hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and sub to the channel if you haven't already. That always helped me out. And if you want to support my work, you can become a patron. Or if you want, you can donate via PayPal through my website as well. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. I'll see you soon in the next one.